Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023, and we kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, look at many, many others. Today I'm showing you this 2005 Nissan El Grand. This is the Rider Edition. It's got 98,000 kilometers on it, which is about 61,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price is seen on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon, or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your sofa driver's licenses, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan El Grand is an eight passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that until next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Now, this one doesn't have the rain guard to show you. However, in all ways, you want to get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay? You got to keep this dash as cool as possible in the, in the heat here. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover, or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and get yourself a larger size bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color, and put that across. Okay, so with that, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing started. Oops. Like I said, it is just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty, but it's not that bad. All right, so key fob on your person. Put on a brake. You're just going to crank this over, and it goes. And I'm not sure why this is not connected, so I'm going to show you. So it does have this key fob here, and this is the key. This just goes right in there. As long as it's on your person, go ahead and crank it over, no problem. Okay. And then if the uh, key does not work, you are able. To, oops. You are able to slide this over and take this key out like a regular key, as you just saw. Okay. All right. Ninety-eight thousand one thirty-three on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one, obviously your seatbelt one, make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. And this one over here is your emergency brake. This one's a kick type, so when you kick it, disengages, goes away, kick it, engages, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over immediately, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here, you have your uh, monitor. You are able to swing this uh, for you, uh, towards you, so if it uh, has a glare on it, it even has the original plastic on there. Uh, this one does have a rear camera. And then you can see right here, it does say uh, side blind. So let me extend those mirrors out. So you can park within an inch of the curb, okay? And then uh, you have your shifter, air conditioning controls, radio, Astro what that is ashtray and light or ashtray and cup holders a uh, little compartment here for storage and you have your lighter over here or power outlet continuing to the left uh, you have your glove box then just a little bit of storage on each door panel okay that is your passenger space over there you got your red roof flare hanging out then this is the space I have on my side the seat is now all the way back and all the way down I am 511 as everybody loves knowing I can drive as is or slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Uh, it does have armrest as well. And then let's go eye level. This is my eye level. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now normally I take this time to show the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on other cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been uh, detailed. Once detailed, it's going to go up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So I'll show you a few other things before we go to the back seat. So it does have a, uh, a sunroof and moonroof back there. I'm not going to open them up. The uh, controls are right here. 
Eh, let's do it anyway. Now, this one is uh, manual, okay? And then the other one is uh, power. See, I'm not gonna do it, so. All right, I already showed you the power outlet there. All right, oops. So over here, you have your mirror controls, and then it does have dual power sliding doors, okay? And then down here, you have two levers. All right, let me go here. Uh, you have a little compartment for uh, coins or whatnot. And then you have two levers over here. The one on the right is your gas cover release. Please don't forget that's there. The one on the left is your hood release. Then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls. Let me close this again. Now, these two are for the very back. So let me see if I can do this. All right. Now, I'm not a big fan of these because look at that. It only opens up about an inch. So what kind of airflow are you getting through here? I don't know. And these two, uh, that's manual, is going to open up an inch as well. So it's real. If you don't have to use them, don't use them. You can see that it's a very small motor that controls that little piece. Uh, and they normally burn out if you're going to open, close, open, close all the time. So just be careful of that. Okay? And then, where is... I'm trying to find where that... There it is. All the way under here, you have your uh, ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card out or a card for it uh, for the expressway. Okay, that's under the steering wheel. All right, so let's uh, turn this thing off. Let's head to the middle row. Oops, I should have put those mirrors back in. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, pull this once and it's gonna go. Now you can see this is on a rail system. So you can slide these all the way forward, all the way back, depending on how much space you need, okay? And then on this one, and the outer one, you are able to swivel these around to face the back. This one will stay stationary. So a lot of people will just put this down and make it kind of like a little table in the middle as you're facing the back. All right. And it does have a little footrest there. Pretty cool. Now, the, the handle's over here. So you can put this all the way back. Or you're going to put it all the way front. I'm not going to be able to get to it. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it in a, a central position. Uh, with the seat all the way or in the center position, I'm about uh, four or five inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back does have pocket storage. As you can see, this has barely has any wiggle room. So just be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And then it does have a little storage and cup holder on each sliding door. I'm not sure if you can see that back there. Okay. And then it does have vents. I'll start off with the vents. You want to make sure these vents are facing the right row. Because if they're not, you're not going to cool down the car quicker so having to face each row is going to cool down the car a lot quicker and then it does have uh, a monitor that comes down i don't have my test dvds with me uh but they're gonna have to be japanese dvds anyway and i explain more of that uh, once you come in and it does have an uh um the remote for that okay gonna slide this sit to the back here Get away. so here's your rear space now, if you need extra space, you're going to pull this lever and push this forward, just depending on how much space you need. So I'm going to leave them all the way back again so you can see how much space. Look at how much space that is. And those are in the uh, center position. So very, very good uh, amount of space in here if you have a larger family or want to keep the kids away from each other. This is definitely one to consider. And then underneath those or uh, um, behind those uh, that cover, you do have cup holders. And that is the control for this um, uh, window. Uh, over here and over there again make sure your kids aren't playing with them all right and these do go up against the side okay so you can pause it right there to see or we can just explain when you uh, come over here and then it does have an extra power outlet back here okay go to the front here we're going to show you the engine compartment i'm going to wrap this video up there you have it 3.5 liter V6 engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you go. 2005 Nissan El Grand Rider Edition. This is fully loaded. It's got 98,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 52,000 miles. 98? No, I'm sorry. 61,000 miles. Did I say 52? 61,000 miles. Uh, military price is down at 5,900. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,700 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on the warranties real quick, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced press, and don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. 
But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny Z's Cars and show we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.